Hello friends welcome to YouTube Civil Engineer channel. In this video we will about the combined footing. Which include the, what is the combined footing? When the combined footing is used. Type of combined footing and Steps of design combined footing. Footing. The purpose of a footing is to transfer the loads from the structure to the soil underneath as well as support the foundation and resist settling. The selection for perfect type of footing is based on the depth at which the bearing strata rests, the condition of soil and the type of superstructure. What is the combined footings? A footing when used for two columns or more than two columns is called combined footing. Combined footing distributes the load from the superstructure to the subsoil. There are various factors on which foundation selection depends such as soil bearing capacity, building location, and types of building. When the combined footing is used, a combined footing is utilized on the basis of three contexts. 1. When the footing of two column is close to each other then in this type of situation we use combined footing. 2. If the load-bearing capacity of the soil is low and there is a requirement for more area under the individual footing, in such conditions we use combined footing. 3. If a column is situated near the boundary line and it is not possible to project its footing within the boundary line, then in such type of condition we use combined footing. Types of combined footing There are three different types of types of combined footings. 1. Rectangular combined footings 2. Trapezoidal combined footings 3. T-shaped combined footings One, rectangular combined footings. The rectangular combined footings are part of combined footings. They have rectangular shapes and they are supporting two or more columns. These are used when having a rectangular shape and have a carry equal loads. Two, trapezoidal combined footings. This a use for a wind does not present an equal load. When present unequal loads, then use trapezoidal combined footings. They do not have to fix shapes and sizes. When they come on equal load from a structure, so they cannot make an equal rectangular footing. Three, T-shaped combined footings. The T-shaped is provided when the column load of the property line is much more than the other. Steps for design of combined footing. 
Footings The function of a footing or a foundation is to transmit the load from the structure to the underlying soil. The design of a combined footing is more efficient and economical as well as the settlement of footing is uniform if the pressure distribution due to load is uniform. This condition may be achieved if the centroid of all applied loads and the centroid of the area of footing coincide. The choice of suitable type of footing depends on the depth at which the bearing strata lies, the soil condition, and the type of superstructure. To design combined footing, you must consider 12 steps. One, locate the point of application of the column loads on the footing. Two, proportion the footing such that the resultant of loads passes through the center of footing. Three, compute the area of footing such that the allowable soil pressure is not exceeded. Four, calculate the shear forces and bending moments at the salient points and hence draw SFD and BMD. 5. Fix the depth of footing from the maximum bending moment. 6. Calculate the transverse bending moment and design the transverse section for depth and reinforcement. Check for anchorage and shear. Seven. Check the footing for longitudinal shear and hence design the longitudinal steel. 8. Design the reinforcement for the longitudinal moment and place them in the appropriate positions. 9. Check the development length for longitudinal steel. 10. Curtail the longitudinal bars for economy. 11. Draw in detail the reinforcement. 12. Prepare the bar bending schedule. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.